now i would like to invite shaina's father mr sumit singhal he is a trained photographer and has run a fashion photography studio and now have a manufacturing business with that i would also like to welcome ishwar's and gurbani's father mr ruminder singh sandhu he is an advocate by profession and photography has been his hobby since childhood i would request uncle to take this session forward hello to everyone hello to ma'am to the kids hello sir the Good wonderful night. thing night. we are having as a wildlife week which is uh, really exciting and uh, i think it is informative also for the kids so uh, please uh, so, uh, can any any of the kid tell me like what all they have done till now what are the three days you what are the various things you do uh, till now we got about uh, the tigers and snakes and different different animals all right very nice uh, ruminder ji please i would uh, request you to take uh, things forward a little bit yes sir uh i'll start with the ppt i have prepared look i was not a kind of nature photographer i used to you know but do all case do having camera together you know going taking photographs so slowly i started you know, this thing i got into nature photography so it was you know with the birds i but i started so let's see okay kids why why do uh, we uh, do photography was the fun in photography can anybody tell me to capture the moments very good wonderful to capture uh, the uh, capture the we can enjoy the photo and we can feel the photo the nature of photography we capture the moments of animals yeah that's it so let's say i i may say that with photography you know learning photography i started taking better photographs first of all so simple thing and it's not about capturing the nature you capture you know your uh, everybody around you your friends your brother sister and everyone you know it's you know uh, you get little you know better in everything so uh, it i may say it documents your life your journey of life and then photography you know it took me little closer to the nature uh, but i feel that i start thing in a different way so even i would say that uh, photography you know it, it enhances your imagination so and with photography you know i start you know i came to know about more things like i started you know uh, respecting nature and i got little you know more conscious about the environment and then i came to know about the birds the species trees animal everything you know uh, have you ever any of you one have counted how many birds you know they uh, live near you in your house or anywhere can anybody tell me okay so you know uh, when i was not aware about birds i didn't see anything around me but you know now where i live i have counted how many birds have visited my house and you know that comes around 35 isn't that surprising so it's just you know being aware about things so uh, next thing is good about thing good thing about photography is it brought me you know new friends the like minded one and i say photography is a great hobby and you can even earn out of it you can register yourself and you can sell your photographs and and at the end i would say that photography is you know great stress reliever when i go out for photography you know you sit there i sit there i used to take coffee and you know few snacks i sit there i watch the nature and it really gives me peace and kind of satisfaction so let's start with few photographs so first of all this is gurbani manisha ma'am you may remember this gurbani you know in the center of the day we left yes, her like 6 7 years back yeah. and this is a you know in, on the bottom this is her first uh, school outing and this ganga puja mm. and this is gurbani now you know like two years <laughs> back 
so you know small you know photographs are you know these are memories so then gurbani used to come with me when i used to go for photography every time she you know little gurbani doing her little things in the bottom you can see playing with the stones you know and this everything and uh, it i feel gurbani has got close to nature because of photography because mm-hmm. she was with me always and then so i would say few tips for the beginners first of all never forget your camera always carry your camera with you and you don't need very expensive camera uh, an old mobile you know your mobile from uh, your father or your mother's old mobile it's enough if you start photography be aware of your surroundings keep your camera safe you know and i i'll tell you cameras don't take photographs it's your imagination that take your photographs is the stories you create those are the photographs you know and and then you don't have camera don't worry you forgot your camera don't worry just save this memory in your brain that next time when you you get across the same situation you can click it thing in a better way right so here is a uh, thing and i started photography i had these things done at home like sell this balloon you know at a time of holy uh, fill it with water and you paste with it uh, this needle uh, it'll, uh, you know small experiment and these kites you know just do things you know you need to imagine Uh, this gurbani you know be playing with the gurbani was always my subject and she was more than ready you know always posing for me doing things for me and she's playing some with she was playing with light and i came inside the room and i took her photograph this photograph in the you know bottom this was clicked by gurbani like uh, in july it was her school project this tree she was sitting under a tree and she clicked it i said like i really found this photograph wonderful so i've shared it over here So next, uh, this photograph is it's a doom girls. I clicked this little kid over here. Uh, he was sleeping. Uh, this is really wonderful. And then in the bottom, Gurbani and Ishwar was doing cycling during the lockdown. And I made them, uh, you know, uh, take uh, took their photograph from the roof and you know different story. And this little girl, I don't remember her name, Anishin Ma'am. I really loved her. You know, she was always in the front. this girl and another little girl and she is you know quite uh, giggling and trying to hide it it was really wonderful i don't know could my use the name is this afifa yeah oh afifa still here we'll show you that little girl turn into somebody okay. else <laughs> she was really uh, a little mischief i don't know something yeah, going in the hand and this yeah and this you know we were coming after dropping the rubani back uh, like uh, 2019 and this elephant came uh, on the road in the on the way near ponta saab mm. so we were little uh, you know afraid and uh, so uh, anyhow we managed to take his photograph and pass by it so this is you know you create stories this gurbani doing you know mischiefs and doing uh, little things and just capturing them you know for your memories that's all so I'll uh, say few rules about photography for the beginners. So these are simple things. I'll start. So uh, kids, can you find you know these are two photographs? Can you find the difference between them? Which one is better? So uh, second one, first one, fine. First one, second one, second one. Second one. No, the first one is better. See, I'll tell you why. It's framing, frame, your photograph frame. So the subject, you know, this lady back, Berg, it's 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 in the center, you know, equal distance from all sides, almost equal distance. When you take, uh, you know, suppose uh, when you take photograph of somebody, don't cut their feet or head. It should be equal from other sides. Very simple thing, you know. uh basic thing you need to see is see uh, on the second photograph the bug is on the corner not equal from all sides so this is how, you know this is uh, not a good photograph i what i feel right and second thing is source of light and you know it depends on the situation source of light how should it be used suppose i'll start with this photograph each where we were on tracking so in this source uh, this photograph the light should fall on the face of source 
see the shadows are going the other way so this way i was able to capture his you know face properly so if i was on the other side there would have been shadow on his face that would have that would wo achhi nahi honi thi na wo right so on the you know opposite side see this photograph in the this photograph in the bottom you know this uh, these ducks uh if i had been on the other side agar main dusri taraf hota to i could have captured their you know color of the birds their eyes and everything but i could not anyhow so even you know this side also it's a great picture yeah it you know it's kind of art so and and the third picture this you know camel uh so over here though it's a sunset but the thing is uh camel is not the subject sky is the subject so uh, camel you know just add drama to the subject that's why the source of light is on the upper, other side right so and uh, if you take light uh, like source of light take uh, this thing in your mind you'll have great pictures and the third third photograph you know this third rule is uh, rule of 1/3 you can see uh, if we divide screen three parts uh, like this uh, king fisher is in one fourth of the part of the screen so uh, subject is at the side and it gives space to the photograph even over here issue is like in the one part so this is known as the one but this is kind of common rule and really a good rule right so the third photograph is uh, the two type of photographs landscape and portrait so over here you can see portrait things uh, see the if it portraits we uh, you know things uh, on the sides and this is known as bouquet effect or you can uh, shallow depth of field 